Welcome back. We're at week 18. Um, great job hanging in there. Now at week 18. Um, okay, so today we're doing another chemistry experiment. Our word of the week is water. Um, we've had all these cool scientific words of the week, um, which all actually come together in an experiment regarding water. So we've talked about what are elements, um, what are atoms, atoms are elements. Elements then make up molecules, which are more than one element. They can be the same element though. So like O2 is an element. Um, then we have, or sorry, is a molecule. And then we have compounds, which are more than one type of element, such as H2O, which is water, what we're talking about today. And that is two different elements coming together to make a compound, just like compound words, compound sentences we have a compound of um, elements. We then talked about chemical reactions where you have more than one um, compound that come together. And then as they come together, they react and form something completely new or you often, do several things completely new, such as the carbon dioxide that was released come form, um, when forming baking soda and vinegar together. So today we have um, compounds, mainly our water, our H2O, joined with some other things we'll show you in a minute. And as those compounds react, again, we're going to have another chemical reaction creating something different. Um, so all of those are things are coming together with our experiment on water today. So first of all, what are some different types of water that you may know about? Um, ask your kids what different types, just walking down the grocery aisle, you'll see about 50 different types of waters. Um, and what makes them different? What makes them the same? How are they all water? Um, and then say so today, we're going to talk about three main things. We're going to talk about hard water and soft water, and then how they react to soap. Okay, so first of all, gather all information they might know about hard water, soft water, and soap. Um, parents may know if they have, especially if they have like a water softening system in their home, um, they may know a lot about this. I did not know a lot about this until I did some research, um, and now I know more than I did before. So um, it's actually really interesting. I knew that with hard water, you had to watch your pipes because you could have buildup of some sort. I knew one of the waters, when you get out of a shower, you feel kind of sticky still, um, but I wasn't sure which one. So um, that's something we'll learn today. So again, hard water, soft water, soap, what do you know about them? Then give them some background information. So our question today, um, the thing that we're, our problem, our question is how does soap react in different types of water, specifically hard water versus soft water? Um, do you think they're gonna react the same? Like we talked about, there's different kinds of water, but they have water. Um, or do you think they'll be different? Well, first of all, let's figure out what is hard water, what is soft water, um, and what's the main ingredient in soap besides water. Um, so <laughs> you can see now our word of the week is water. <laughs> so soft water is water that has been purified, cleaned out, it's good old H2O, has a slightly higher salt content, um, but is um, basically cleaned out water. Hard water is water that has other chemicals, primarily calcium and magnesium in it. So when rain falls, goes down to the earth, when it goes through the soil, through rocks, through pollutants, it absorbs um, calcium, magnesium, some iron in there, and it creates hard water. Um, and so um, that is what hard water is. So hard, it doesn't turn into a solid. Um, it looks the same, which we'll see here in a minute. It looks pretty much the same, just looking from it, um, from the standpoint of um, through a glass jar, um, but is has a different chemical makeup. So the compound here um, that we've got going on with soft water is mostly H2O. And then in hard water, you've got your H2O plus calcium, plus magnesium, plus iron, some other stuff um, occasionally in it. So that makes it hard. 
Um, so we give them that background information. The other thing to know is soap is mostly, so it has water, but then it also has um, a sodium um, ions in it. And if you look, so my soap here has water and then sodium sulfate, some other ions, some fragrance, and then some sodium chloride. Um, and so it has primarily the sodium positive ion in there. Okay, so that's your background information. Now the materials for our experiment, again, we're testing does soap react differently in different types of water, hard versus soft. Um, we're starting off with distilled water. So um, why distilled? Why did we have to go buy distilled water? Well, distilled water is soft water. It has went through a, a process where it has been purified. All extra um, chemicals and molecules have been um, stripped or cleaned out of it. And so it actually goes through a pretty complex procedure, turns into a vapor, then condensation makes it, comes back down. It's a purified distilled water, does not have extra calcium, magnesium stuff in it. So that is representing our soft water today. Um, so first of all, you want to start off each of these baby food jars, so our materials are baby food jars, our soap, which I showed you, distilled water, and most important also, Epsom salt, and that's how we're gonna make our hard water. So you wanna fill both jars. This is the distilled water, do not get tap water. Distilled water, um, it's about a fourth of a cup in each of um, a regular size baby food jar. And again, you wanna fill it half full. So my tutors will have your handy dandy little measuring cups. And um, they don't have to be exact to the drop, but you want them pretty close. So the kids don't think we're doing some kind of trick on them. So half full in each of your jars. I've labeled these jars. My tutors, your jars will be labeled. Hard, H for hard, S for soft, just cause they look the same initially and that helps you keep them straight. So we've got our soft water, we're leaving it the same. To make hard water, again, what did I say was in hard water? Calcium, magnesium, sometimes iron. Um, for our purposes, we are adding Epsom salt, which you can see right on the front says magnesium sulfate. So we're not adding calcium, but we are adding magnesium. So you take a half a teaspoon of that, and you're gonna put that into your hard and stir. Um, so Epsom salt's kind of, um, unless you get a really fine granule, it's a um, pretty decent sized um, little salts. And so you just give that a second. You want it to be um, as dissolved as possible, primarily for appearances. And so there we go. We've got our, we've got a couple little still in the bottom, but for the most part is dissolved. Again, our waters look the same. We've got our hard water now, which started off with distilled. We added magnesium to it. And um, so we've got our hard versus our soft. Next thing we're gonna do is add three drops of our soap. Again, it's um, one, two, and three. And one, two, and three. And again, we've got sodium. Um, as a main ingredient in our in our soap. So, what um, what do you think is going to happen when we you know how do we know that soap is active or working? Um, talk about that for a second. How do we know that soap's doing something? Um, and it could be because it creates bubbles, because it makes things look clean. Um, soap is actually kind of a complex little creature, and that it has. Um, two polar sides to it. One side of it absorbs to water, attracts water. The other side is hydrophilic and so um, goes away from water. Excuse me, other way around. Hydrophobic goes away from water and um, is attracted to oils and greases and attaches to those. So you've got two sides of soap, um, which is pretty cool. All right, so I put soap in both of these. Um, I'm going to shake them up. What do you think will happen? What do you think? So do you think, again, the soap will have any different reaction in the hard versus the soft? You wanna shake it about 15 times. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 
14. You actually tell because you'll do the shaking. You could have your kids go around and shake them up if you wanted to, or just keep this to your demonstration. Um, and because you can feel a huge difference actually in um, in the two waters. All right, so I want you to be able to see those nice and clearly. So you've got your soft over here versus your hard. What do you notice? If I put a shadow behind them, you can see kind of a little bit better. What do you notice? What's different? So your soft creates more bubbles. Um, and even I did this before and had a little less water and you could tell it even more, but you can still see. Your soft creates more bubbles and when you're shaking it, you can tell it feels very full of the bubbles. Um, versus the hard has less bubbles and look at the water itself. So the soft is completely clear with some bubbles on top. The hard is kind of cloudy and messy looking and less bubbles up top. So why do you think this happened? Well, um, we again added magnesium to our hard water. What happens when you add these sodium ions in soft water, they're dissolved beautifully. Um, the soap is um, activated, so you get lots of bubbles, lots of good cleaning power behind it. Um, versus in the hard, the sodium ions chemically react and combine to the magnesium um, and in other hard water to the calcium and the iron ions. And so as they join with those, it soaks it up and it enables or disables um, the soap molecules from being active. And so you get less cleaning power, less bubbles, um, and you get this leftover stuff down here called soap scum. And what soap scum is made up of are just the dissolved um, leftovers. So when the water evaporates, you've got the leftover calcium, magnesium, sodium, iron, all of that left here, which then combines with dead skin cells, mold, mildew, all that yummy stuff, and coats your um, tub, your sinks, and that's what soap scum comes from. Now it can happen in all those, but is much more prevalent, as you can see, in the hard water. And so, um, hard water, the one thing that you can do before the end of it, you can dump these out. So dump out your soft, then dump out your hard. And you can have the kids actually feel the jars. And you can very clearly feel the difference. You can feel the leftover um, scum and the hard water versus the soft feels like a nice clean jar. Um, so talk about, um, again, make sure they understand there was a chemical reaction that happened from the sodium of the soap. It bound with the magnesium in the hard water and made it less effective. And then it was left over. So that little compound that happened there is left over and sticks on the edge of things um, versus our soft water had nothing there. We poured out the water and it's just leftover bubbles, which are a whole nother chemical reaction in and of themselves. Um, so what are, why does this matter in real life? Um, does it, do you think it would be better to clean with hard water or soft water? Which one do you think requires more soap? Um, when you get out of a shower, do you think your skin is going to feel better after hard water or better after soft water? Soft water for sure. Leaves you feeling more clean, does not leave a layer of this stuff on your skin. Um, same thing for cleaning surfaces. Soft water is better for that. Um, and you use less detergent, less soap, all that stuff. Um, hard water is not all bad though. It, it actually is good as a drinking water because we need calcium, we need magnesium, we need those things. And if you don't have a diet high in those or you aren't great at eating all those, you don't take a supplement, then hard water is actually a good drinking water. Um, but soft water clearly is a better cleaning water. Um, and so you can talk about in real life, in city water, what water is that? In the country, if you have well water, you know, is that different? Um, or do you think it's the same? So enjoy talking about water um, and how it affects and is um, a very 
practical um, effectiveness in how we clean, what we drink, um, and what is made up, um, the chemical makeup of the most basic things like water and soap. Have fun.